The Witcher features a stellar cast, and there's no doubt that fans have recognized some of the show's phenomenal actors, but despite their best efforts, can't quite place them. So let's glance over these performers' past accomplishments and figure out why the cast of The Witcher looks so familiar. Monster Hunter Geralt of Rivia is portrayed by Henry Cavill, easily the most recognizable member of the cast. How do you like my eyes? Cavill began his career in 2001, and he earned worldwide fame by playing the darkest live-action version of Superman to date, showing up in DCEU films like Man of Steel and Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. You might also know him from Mission Impossible Fallout and from Showtime's The Tudors. Fantasy fans might also recognize him from his smaller roles in films like Stardust and Tristan and Isolde, proving that he can hold his own in a fairy and dragon-infested setting just as well as on Krypton. In fact, Cavill admits to loving Andrei Sapkowski's original Witcher novels and to being a big fan of fantasy since he was very young. Freya Allen was tapped to play Princess Cirilla, aka Ciri, an on-the-run royal with mysterious, frightening powers. Allen herself, though not quite as young as Ciri, is still fairly new to Hollywood, a fresh face who's proven she has what it takes of a long career. Immediately prior to The Witcher, she had a small role in a BBC miniseries adaptation of The War of the Worlds, and she also briefly showed up into the Badlands. Like the young cast of Stranger Things, Allen's Netflix debut is sure to snag her more work, both within the streaming service's original content content as well as in film. Who is Yennefer? Anya Chalotra, aka the sorceress Yennefer, is fairly new to screen acting. Her breakout role was in the BBC's Wonderlust, followed by a small part in the ABC Murders. She's also lent her vocal talents as a lead part of Robin Loxley in the futuristic animated series Sherwood. And with such a stunning performance as The Witch Who Wants It All, it will be a pleasure to see Chalotra continue on to more prominent roles going forward. Yennefer would never have been able to harness her powers if not for the influence of Tissaia, the head of a magical academy. Typically, a character like this would be played as a hateful stepmother stereotype. But in the very capable hands of Miana Burring, Tissaia is as complex, intriguing, and sympathetic a character as Yennefer herself. As for Burring, her first supervisable role was as Tanya in both parts of the Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn. Her stately manner then graced the set of Downtown Abbey as Edna. Actor Joey Beatty brings plenty of plucky charm and a soothing singing voice to the character of Yaskia, the bard who takes up with Geralt, much to the gruff witcher's dismay. Before taking up the loot, Beatty had small roles in several television series, including The White Queen, another series featuring strong-willed and powerful women. Lovers of historical dramas might also recognize him from his recurring role as Pierre on the History Channel's Nightfall. The Witcher boasts a cast of extremely powerful and influential women, and it's hard to get much more powerful and influential than Calanthe, warrior queen of Sintra. Calanthe is brought to life by the incomparable Jodie May, who's no stranger to playing a queen. Having taken up the mantle of Queen Victoria and the warrior queen of Jonsi, she appeared in an episode of Game of Thrones in 2015 as a fortune teller named Maggie. A small role, but interesting to note considering how much The Witcher has been compared to the HBO fantasy series. You might also recognize her from her role as Alice Munro in the 1992 adaptation of The Last of the Mohicans, starring Daniel Day-Lewis. Ah, the mage with the amusing name. Mouse Sack is portrayed by Adam Levy, perhaps recognizable to superhero fans from his one-off role as an alien healer named Amade in the Supergirl TV series. Fans of Hallmark Christmas movies may have spotted him in 2018's A Christmas in Royal Fashion. He's also been part of his fair share of historical dramas, including AD The Bible Continues and Nightfall with Joey Beatty. To play the conniving maid Stregobor, the showrunners cast Danish actor Lars Mikkelsen, the brother of Hannibal's Mass Mikkelsen. Unless you're very familiar with Danish film and television, it's unlikely you've seen a lot of him. However, he played the recurring character Victor Petrov in the very popular Netflix series House of Cards, and fans of BBC Sherlock will easily recognize him as Charles Magnusson from the episodes His Last Foul and The Empty Hearse. It seems Mikkelsen has a knack for playing sinister types, and his casting as Stregobor is spot on in this regard. The rightful heir of the Nilfgaardian throne, Cahir is a violent, ambitious prince who's single-mindedly pursuing Ciri to use her mysterious powers for his own ends. Cahir is portrayed by Aemon Farin, notable for his appearance as Richard Horn on the most recent season of David Lynch's Twin Peaks. He also had a recurring role in the first three episodes of BBC's adaptation of Agatha Christie's The ABC Murders, which featured an appearance by The Witcher co-star Anya Chalotra as well. He also had a role in the eerie drama Winchester, about a maze-like mansion and its strange owner, played by Helen Mirren. 
Dara is played by the young but very talented Wilson Raja Pahote, who's had roles in several lesser-known television series. His largest role is easily that of Aladdin in the BBC series Jamala and Aladdin. He also has a substantial part in the Nickelodeon series Hunter Street. And like many British actors, he's found work in a Charles Dickens-inspired series. In this case, he starred as Dodger in BBC's Dickensian. Triss Marigold initially seems like a one-off character whose purpose is to hire Geralt to slay a horrible monster. Instead, she becomes a more prominent player later in the series. Triss is played by Anna Schaffer, who kicked off her acting career in a rather impressive way, playing Romilda Vane in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. She was also on the British team soap opera Hollyoaks for seven years as Ruby Button, her stints there spanning an impressive 242 episodes. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about The Witcher are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and to the bell so you don't miss a single one.